Today on Karamo. I went through your phone and it said, how about I come in through one of the windows? Did she cheat on him twice? If you've got all this evidence, why can't I get a name? It's DNA double jeopardy with a heartbreaking letter from his son. Why did you leave me? Plus, this mother and daughter are struggling to repair their relationship. Does your mom ever call you names? Yeah. And when have you ever paid my bills, Angstie? I'll help you with bills. For real right now? You stop acting like you did that all by yourself. No, no, no. Have toxic men and trauma severed their bond forever? Your daughter said a lot of your relationships were toxic. Would you agree with that? Yeah. A lot of people prayed on me and used them. Can they come back together? Ain't no reconcile, no. Oh, no. Get to no. When he threatened my siblings to shoot my siblings and stuff, no. hell no. It's up forever. It's up forever. Brittany is positive that her ex-boyfriend, Cody, is the father of her children. But Cody claims Brittany is a cheater and a liar. We've given Cody two paternity tests to finally uncover the truth. Here's what Cody had to say about the situation. My girlfriend, Brittany, cheated on me. Then has the nerve to lie and backpedal to me about it. I've heard rumors from friends and neighbors about people being snuck into our home. She would also go meet men at other places. And that's why I think I'm not the biological father of her two children. It breaks my heart because I stepped in as a father to those two children for years. I've been gone for over a year because I feel like those children are not mine. Everyone, please welcome Brittany to the show. Um, so I have to ask you, why did you call wanting a DNA test for your two children? I'm just, I'm tired of being conceived as the bad guy. Mm -hmm. I'm tired of my character being put down, me being called a cheater, a liar, and just to prove that those are his kids. So from your opinion, why did Cody walk out on you and your kids? <clears throat> We've just been going through it for a really long time and we both agreed together that it was best for him just to leave. When did Cody begin denying CJ? He had found some papers from the hospital from like the birth certificate type of situation and it states on the bottom of it that if there's no paternity established in the hospital and you sign the birth certificate, you have no rights. Mm -hmm. So he thought, that I did that intentionally. Got it, got it. Do you think Cody looks like your son? Yes, 100%. Yes. Yeah, 100%. Yeah. And you stayed together, but then Cody was arrested. What happened? Yes, yes. Um, he had gotten into an altercation, and he had went to jail. But then it got to him not believing that my daughter was his because him being away, you know, after I had gotten pregnant with her. And was Cody there when your daughter was born? When she was born, he was on, I think he was still on house arrest. Okay. Um, but he was able to come to the hospital. Got it. Yes. So he was on house arrest. Yeah. Do you think Cody looks like your daughter? She does, but she favors me a lot. A lot more. Yeah. Understandable. Okay. Did you ever cheat on Cody? Never. Never, not once. Not one time. Could someone else ever be the father? No. Got it. No All doubt. Right. Amen. Well, listen, um, it's now time to meet Cody, who Brittany claims is the father of her two children. Everyone, please welcome Brittany's former boyfriend, Cody, to the show. You. you look sharp. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. So tell me, when did you first meet Brittany? <sighs> we first met in high school. Uh-huh. Uh, we were friends then. Every now and then we get together and engage, go out. And when did you think she started cheating? <sighs> in all honesty, I believed the whole time. The whole time? The whole time. Wow. Nine years. Nine years of cheating. Nine years. Why do you think she's been cheating for nine years? What reason? What reason? What, why do I need, why did I need to cheat Snapchat, on you? Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook, your job. You had access the neighbors. to everything of mine. I did not have access to everything okay. of yours. Okay. And speaking okay. of, you never even gave me truth. And when did you first think that your son was not your biological child? Uh, I say about a year after his conception. Mm -hmm. I was there the whole nine years. I was doing everything from childcare, pickups, drop-offs, everything what while you, you worked, right? Years? What have you done in two years? What have I done in two years? Toured the country. 
So why did I've you been stop? on a sabbatical. So why did you stop? What's, what made you stop at that moment? No love, no compassion, no understanding, no so, mercy, no grace. So whenever you are constantly accused of being disloyal and constantly Hold on. being put you down. You weren't just being what? accused. I found Snapchat messages. I went through your phone. I went through your watch. You I brought every you single find? proof What'd to you. What did you find on my watch? What'd you find? No, it said number one. No. Hold no, on, no. hold on, hold yeah. on. No, no, we ain't finna do that and you're not gonna sit here and, no. Nah. So, somebody was coming over to me. Uh -huh. The person, whoever it was, was like, okay, that's no problem. How about I come in through one of the windows? Whoa. What did you say? So, just to clear that up, Facebook Messenger, you can change people's names. You can give people nicknames. Does she got answers for everything. Do that. That, As do that, you. That's, that's, that's you something that's always bothered me. That's all you do. Talk your way in circles yep. until you believe it. Mm -hmm. mm. Regardless, you always I understand how it could have looked on the, when he was looking through my watch because you don't get a photo reference or anything yeah, you just with see that. that name. You just see the name and the message. So when he brought this to my attention, I pulled out my phone, showed him the message, you click on it, go to the profile. Yeah. Like, I want to ask you, do you think, Cody, that your son looks like you? Yeah, I, I, I see the resemblance. Uh -huh. it, it's nothing about the children. It's nothing against the children. It's her. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Got it. Because but if, he if everything you, how was he going well, if I didn't have any questions or doubts, I would still be there. We had these discussions. We had these confrontations. I brought you evidence. I brought you skepticism. I brought you concern. And every single time, you dismissed it. He's convinced she cheated. You've never done nothing for me. I gave you two kids. We finna see, ain't we? Are, aren't we? And now doubts that their two children are his. This will confirm if you are their father or if you are not. Open it and find out. What will the DNA results reveal? Don't miss the outcome of our shocking double DNA mystery. tired of my character being put down, me being called a cheater, a liar, and just to prove that those are his kids. He had found some papers from the hospital, and it states on the bottom of it that if there's no paternity established in the hospital and you sign the birth certificate, you have no rights. So he thought that I did that intentionally. It, it's nothing about the children. It's nothing against the children. It's her. I've brought you evidence every single time you dismissed it. Is that true? It's I could true not in get mind. an emotion me, out of me, her. Me and him in a relationship, it, it goes as far as he wants it to go. Just because I'm only allowed to say what I want to say, and then it just becomes everything that I have Everything that I have to say has no weight. No, but you condescend just, me with the constant. children. This is it. I never, I'm never able to speak anything because it's always She's him. trying to paint me out to be some I'm sort of monster. I'm not trying to paint. I just want some, the results. That's all I want. And we can go our separate also. way. That's but all it is the thing for me. is, we went, this is the third time that we're trying this. Is that correct? Third time I, we're tried trying to, what? I, I tried to take my son to the DNA center myself. I couldn't do it because I had to have her present. Even though my name is on the birth certificate and he has my whole entire name. Right. Why wouldn't that you allow didn't it? happen? Why you because allow she didn't, didn't want to do it nope. then. I then didn't. then Why didn't tax you season. Do it? If, if he's accusing you and you had an opportunity to get done before, why didn't you just do it? I, I, stalling out. Yeah, she stalling me stalling out. out. She stalled me out yeah. the whole time. I had the money tax time. Nothing but he's rebuttal. Never me nothing money but for denial. A okay. for a DNA then test. she's trying he's to make it and make me that. seem okay. like I'm just so belligerent. Well, you made me this way. No, I didn't. Don't use that. Get out of here. That's belligerent. You, you, you foaming out you, the you, mouth. You expect for somebody to be by your side for as long as we were, and for me to go through you, you just putting me down constantly. Uh, hold on, what's your definition of love? I don't have one. I know you don't. When's the last time you felt love? It doesn't when matter. When I gave it to you, right? It doesn't matter, we're not here for that. Oh, because you don't know that. We're not you here for You don't need that. that. We're here for the You're good, for the I know, and once we get these results, it don't matter what they are, I've already made my decision. That's good, I'm glad. 
every single so, discrepancy. So, so these results come back, and and they're your kids. What do you, what's your plans? What you what you plan I'm gonna be doing? a father anywhere. Yeah. I could be a father anywhere. I don't have to put up with you, I your never family, want you to put up with your me. friends, you're the one that your wants facades, to come back your personas. You're the one that constantly wants to come back. I don't have to do any of that. I agree. 100%. And I don't want to be back. There's nothing there for me. You have nothing for me. So then I gave you so then every what's with all the in the me. text messages, I and I love you, you and I want to come back, and blah, 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 Are you still, blah, blah, are blah, you still blah. texting her saying you want to come back? Yeah. I, I, no, hold on. Don't, yeah. no. Yeah, I messaged her before we came here. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, I know you ain't never rode a plane, because I still know you. You never do anything by yourself. You're so full of fear. Mm -hmm. You're so insecure. Yeah. And I still yeah. try to help you. I what did you do for me? I helped him what with everything did you do that for he me? ever needed. Besides put commissary on my books. Never done nothing for me. OK, I gave you two kids. We finna see, ain't we? Are, aren't we? So you moved to a different state. I went to uh, Florida to see my parents. Then from Florida, I drove to California and I started my sabbatical. Meanwhile, I was me cleansing and the kids were myself. Good. Me I was, and the kids I was were good. finding myself mm -hmm. again. This was the only thing that was fueling me Got in it. essence. Because if this would have never happened, I probably ain't no telling where I'd be, ain't no telling how I'd be thinking. Mm -hmm. So I, I take this as a blessing also. Got it. When was the last time you saw your kids? Not having, a year and a half. A year and a half. A year and, and a half. half. I do appreciate you focusing on your mental health. I think it's important that you do that. But with that being said, you're taking a sabbatical when there are smaller kids. Mm -hmm. How do you think this sabbatical has, has affected your children? Brittany has always had Friends, family, support, encouragement, resources, outlets. This has me, always hold been on, held hold on, hold on. Me being in Indiana, I have nobody. Mm -hmm. The friends I would have, she would drive them away, harass my friends that I bring over to my house. I only had one friend, and she despised every bit of it. Mm -hmm. I was she best friends always with his starts an altercation to where no. my homie no. is uncomfortable. No. I gotta know this, what do you miss most about those kids? Just the life they give me, the respect they give me, the, the acknowledgement, the love. Mm -hmm. I've ne n my whole life, Yeah. nobody's been there. Brittany, I know that you said to my producer that he's missed out on a lot of things in these mm -hmm. past year, yes. and you gave them a list of things that yes. you wanted me to see. What is it? So you said he missed out on CJ's birthday, Camilla's birthday, CJ's football practices, CJ's football game, first day of school. One, 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 one. I was there for everything. I've been so there, you were for there for everything. These you were there for these things. Not for this year? No, this I year. wasn't. So no, about, I wasn't. We're not talking about before. But we're you talking left. about what led up to this. Oh, we're talking to about what led your up kids to and me what you leaving. missed out on. You and your talking about no, we're here for the kids. Yeah, we're here for the kids. We're not here about the None of that matters. It do matter. No, it That's what led to this. Okay, well, here we are now. Yep. And these are the things that you missed. Yep, So Let's what go. do you plan on doing if you are their biological father? Fathering from Florida. Do you plan mm -hmm. on fathering from Florida? I plan on being a father regardless where I am in this country. I don't know what that means, though. And you don't need to know because you don't know what love is either. Okay. What is this that you're pulling out? Um, his, his son wrote him a letter because he knew I was going to see him today. Mm. Go. Don't go away. This will confirm if you are their father or if you are not. Open it. <sighs> the shocking results of our double DNA mystery are about to be revealed. I tried to take my son to the DNA center myself. I couldn't do it because I had to have her present. I gotta know this, what do you miss most about those kids? Just the life they give me. Brittany, I know that you said to my producers that he's missed out on a lot of things in these mm -hmm. past year, yes. and you gave them a list of things that you yes. wanted me to see. What is it? We're talking what about your kids and what leaving. you missed out on. You and your talking about, no, we're here for the kids. What is this that you're pulling out? Um, his, his son wrote him a letter because he knew I was gonna see him today. Dear Dad, why did you leave me, Camilla, Mom? You've been gone for two years. You missed all of my football games and practices. And you know what hurts me the most? 
When I've tried to communicate and call when I was on the road, where were you? You didn't answer. I didn't have you no didn't reason reply. to answer. I didn't you have didn't... no reason to answer. You see that? I didn't have no you reason to that? answer in the beginning. You left us. On good terms, right? In the beginning, yeah. But not when you dipped off and left. Dipped no, off and left. No, in the beginning, it was a mutual thing. You was coming back. You wasn't staying gone. And then you just up and decided to leave Hold in the on. middle of the so night. Hold on, so whose time am I on? Your time or my time? You're on the kids' time. I have to build. You're on the kids' time. I, how You're can on our I, kids' time. Don't sit here and be a smart ass about it. Uh, I could be a smart Because when I one. was pouring my time into it, where were you? At home with my kids and you. Can we get this over with? Because yeah, this is I actually want to get to these results. Getting, so let's get to these th results. This is, we have the, the truth right here. The DNA outcome is in this envelope. This is for your first child. And we have a second one for your second child. This will confirm if you are their father or if you are not. I'll give you the first envelope so that you can open it and find out. Thank you. The only reason I questioned anything was because you were never there with me. Open the results, man. Hold on. I'm, I'm, hold I'm, on, I'm, hold on, hold on. Just open it. I want to know, yeah. Just open it. Cody is... My biological Thank son. Thank you. Yep. Make sure you keep one. that. Oh, I'm a keep. Make sure. Yep. Put it on TikTok, social media. That's where you get your happiness. We've just learned that Cody's son is his, but will that be true for his daughter? Don't miss part two of our double DNA mystery. You are the cop. Get off my stage. Dear Dad, why did you leave me? You've been gone for two years. You missed all of my football games and practices. The DNA outcome is in this envelope. And we have a second one for your second child. This will confirm if you are their father or if you are not. I'll give you the first envelope so that you can open it and find out. Cody is my biological Thank son. Thank you. Yep. And Make your sure second you keep one. that. Oh, I'm going to keep Make sure. Cody, Camilla is your biological hey, dog. Weird. Thank you. It's weird how that happens. Thank you. You got answers, but I noticed Thank something. I, I'm glad you got your answers. I'm glad you know this. But there's something that I realized very quickly. What's going on in your head right now? It's just so much pain. I've been that, in that's... pain this whole time. I feel you, but the pain, what I wrote here is your pain is overshadowing your feelings for your kids in this moment. Mm -hmm. Because even when your ex gave you this letter from your child, instead of taking a moment to process their feelings and what they're experiencing, your hurt that you experienced in this long-term relationship that has been over overshadowed you t diving into that. And I've, even when, before you're about to open the results and get the results, you also have to start attacking. And I get it. I see where the breakdown is. I see some of your, ins your insecurities, your self-esteem issues, how they've affected your mental health. I see the same for you. And I've seen how you shut down, how there's a lack of communication. Mm -hmm. I can understand why he feels like there's yeah. a lack of empathy. I can see all of that. Yeah. I understand all of that. But at the end of the day, if your concern is the kids, then it doesn't matter. And I think now that you know that these are your kids, you have to make sure and do the work, and I be actually believe you will, but you can't allow your feelings that you've had in the past that you've had to ever seep into what you're feeling about these, these kids. Because I, again, I respect you to wanting to take a sabbatical, but at the end of the day, for you, it's like, I'm taking away from you, I'm getting away from you, I'm clearing my mind, but that little boy, that little girl are sitting there like, he's leaving us. They he's need me us. to be clear also. I know, I'm not, say I'm not know? saying, I'm not saying they don't need you to be clear. I feel like you understand what it is to have parents who don't communicate what moves and actions they're making. 
and how when they don't tell you what it is, how you make up those own, your stories in your mind. Because I even hear that through, with assumption, because I don't know, that I'm sure you didn't have a lot of family support in your life. That there wasn't a lot of people that you could turn to. No, nothing. So you didn't have anybody. And now here it is, you're trying to get yourself together, which I agree, we all got to be mentally sound, but those kids are not going to understand that. And when your son wrote your letter and said, you missed my, my practice, but there was something you said in that letter that really hit. He said, why did you leave me? That was a clear indication that no matter what you two are going through and what you've experienced, you don't want him to be 31 day on the stage saying, my father left me. And he needs me. He needs me. I've never wanted to leave. I know. I, I know. never wanted to leave. I know. But the unfortunate part is that you did. And I get that. I get and it. That it was, for, it was for you to get yourself together. I get it. But at this point now, there has to be more communication. This relationship is done. You both have clearly shown. It's toast. Toast. Done. Finish. But now, at the end of the day, this is where the co-parenting starts. This is where the only priority has to be. Every time, it has to be those kids. Every time you want to say something to her, you have to redirect and channel that energy towards love towards your kids. Transmutation. You gotta, you gotta re-channel that. A parent missing for a year, two years, they feel as if they've been gone their entire life. And I've been crying every night. I cry every night. I get it. I was losing myself entirely. I had to go. He misses his dad. I hear that all the time. They miss you. And I'm not telling you that you gotta move or do whatever. I can't control that. But what I know is that what I saw on the <laughs> stage of the pain y'all have can't, can't affect these kids anymore. Well, I'm glad that y'all we were here, and I'm glad here. that you have your answers. I'm sorry that there was such a breakdown in whatever y'all had together, but at the end of the day, you now know, and you've seen it. I just need to tell you, rechannel the energy, because these kids need you. So I wish y'all the best of luck, and Thank I you. wish y'all and those kids the best of luck as well. Thank Good luck know. to both of y'all, all right? All right, friends, stay with us. We'll be right back with more. This mother and daughter are struggling to repair their relationship. Does your mom ever call you names? Or yeah. Can they come back together? Ain't no reconcile, no. Uh, you don't no. get to decide. No, we, hell no. It's up forever. Annesley claims her mom always chooses men over her, called her derogatory names, and she says that she never got the love that she needed from her mom. Anesty wants her mother to finally own her toxic behavior. Let's first meet Anesty. So everyone, welcome Anesty to the show. Hey, how are you doing? Hey. You look very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on, Wavy, I like it. <laughs> okay, so um, I have to ask you, when did your problems first start with your mom? Um, I'll say uh, probably Middle school. Middle school. Yeah. Okay. What was going on during that time? Uh, I don't know. I guess I was going through hormones and stuff. <laughs> so I had like attitude. Okay. And things like that. Uh, How old were you when your mom had you? Uh, fifteen. Okay. She oh, was no, fifteen. No, she, was, she 15. was fifteen. She was fifteen. That's what I meant. How? Yeah. She was fifteen. And how did that affect you as a child? I mean, we struggled because you know she's a young mom. How many other children did your mother have? Uh, four. She lost one. I mean, mm. that's not including her blood. We. She adopted three. Okay. My cousins. Oh, she adopted your cousins? Mm hmm Okay. And why did she take custody of your cousins? Oh, uh, my aunt passed away, so, oh. yeah. That's her sister? Yeah, her sister. Passed away. How old was she when that happened? Uh, my mom was probably 20, 21. Oof. So she had five kids. Already? Yeah. Since you're the oldest, uh, did you help raise the siblings? I helped, yeah, yeah a well, lot, because uh, she would work. That had to have been a lot of pressure. I didn't think of it as that much as like at that age, but mm -hmm. now that I'm older, I'm like, dang, I like took a lot on. Yeah. I feel like, and I feel really like unappreciated. Got it. And so I also heard that you told my producer that you started helping your mom when you were 16 with bills. Mm -hmm. I started working when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So I got a job. And then when I got the job, I was helping with bills and got stuff it, got like it, got that. It. So during the time you were working, where was your mom? Uh, probably work herself. Uh -huh. <laughs> financial and mother. You said she's a financial mother? Yeah. What do you mean by that? Not like uh, emotional, like uh, doesn't like hug, mm. you know. Oh. It's not like a lot of I love yous mm. and stuff like that. Got it, financial mother. 
Did your mom grow up have time for herself to date or do things? Yeah, she dated a lot. Okay. Um, did she have a lot of boyfriends? Um, mm hmm She did? Like five in my lifetime. Mm -hmm. So, okay. yeah. And were they good relationships? I say only one was. The others were toxic, in my opinion. Mm hmm In what way? Toxic relationships. Uh, just like they were cheaters. They would um, be disrespectful to my siblings. Mm. Um, disrespectful to me. Were they disrespectful to your mom? Yes. Mm. Uh, okay. Very disrespectful. And I love my mom, so you disrespect my mom. It's like I feel like I have to step up and speak for her. Yeah. And it's probably where I go wrong by like trying to do that. That's yeah. not my place. Because you're trying to defend her. I'm trying to defend her, but it's her relationship. And I don't, I, sometimes I be like, I shouldn't be in your business. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Does your mom ever call you names or anything like that? Yeah. And what, what kind of names? Bitch, ho. Mm -hmm. I mean, I remember one time I uh, told her I wanted a soft life. We were talking about these toxic relationships. I told her, I want a soft life. I want a man that, you know, take care of me. She said, you're, that's a weak-ass hoe, like, oh. weak-ass hoe type of stuff. Mm. And I'm like, I don't believe, I don't feel like I'm a weak-ass hoe for wanting something that I've never, you know, really seen yeah. in my life. Yeah, I'm very sorry. You said to our producers that your mom, you think that she's a narcissist. Why do you think that? Because, like, okay, when she does say she loved me, or she'll, she, like, for example, she apologized for calling me out my name. And then a week later, she calls me a bitch again. Mm. So I tell her, I'm like, what do you mean? You, I, say, you, I told her, you just apologized to me for this same thing. Yeah. Why would you turn around and do it again? Does she do this with the other siblings? Mm -hmm. She does. Yeah. With everybody. What do you want your mom to start doing differently? Have our back. Like, be more respectful when you talk to me because you always asking me to respect you. And it's like, how you want me to respect you when you call me bitches and hoes? Mm. Yeah, that's good. Well, listen, everyone, we're gonna take a quick break and we'll be right back with more. Anesty is about to confront her mother about their traumatic past. You stop acting like you did that all by yourself. No, no, no. I didn't give you less. I just had less. Have toxic men and trauma severed their bond forever? The daughter said a lot of your relationships were toxic. Would you agree with that? Yeah. A lot of people prayed on me and used me. Can this mother and daughter heal their relationship? It's up forever! Get off my stage! I mean, we struggled because, you know, she's a young mom. How many other children did your mother have? Uh, four. She lost one. She adopted three. Okay. My cousins. Oh, she adopted your cousins? Mm hmm Okay. And why did she take custody of your cousins? Uh, my aunt passed away. Since you're the oldest, of, did you help raise the siblings? I helped, yeah, yeah a well, lot, because uh, she would work. Did your mom grow up have time for herself to date or do things? Yeah, she dated a lot. Toxic relationships. What do you want your mom to start doing differently? Have our back. Anesty's mother, Sharita, is now joining us. So everyone, please welcome Sharita to the show. So why do you say you don't think Anesty understands what you went through? She just, I mean, unless you are a parent, you really don't understand the gravity of part of your heart walking outside of your body. Mm -hmm. And then when you got multiple children everywhere, you're worried about if they're okay, you know, how people treating them, how are they treating other people, because it's my responsibility how y'all walk around this earth. For her to say that, I mean, yeah, I've definitely cussed at her and, and I was, I'm very, I feel bad about it, mm -hmm. but it's out of an anger, tra traumatized response. Like I haven't really got help for 90% mm -hmm. of the stuff I went through in life. Yeah. And so this is just me trying to do my best with the tools I have, which is not everything that I need, obviously. Honestly. But for her to say that when she, when she said she wanted a soft life, I was like, it sound good, but that's, I mean, 
who doesn't want a soft life? Mm -hmm. But the reality of it is, is it's hell hard out here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I know it's hard, but, but my response wasn't you a weak ass. No, it wasn't that. My response was, it sound good. Like, no, you how you gonna me walk a weak it ass out? Hoe. I mean, it's nothing wrong with me mm -hmm. wanting to be soft. It's mm -hmm. nothing wrong with it. It's and just I know, not reality. Right. I know I gotta work for what I want. And when have you ever paid my bills, Anastasia? I've helped you with bills. You've come through. You were asking me for as money. As an adult. Not saying. You said at 16 you, you would have got me, job to help me? Are you for real right now? You just not saying that. You asked me for money, though. Even when I was in Upward Bound and I got them checks, I you didn't need ask help. for my stuff. I did need okay, help. Okay, so that's what I'm saying. Accountability, like. I'm accountable. I'm not saying you I, didn't I help me. But why, how dare you have animosity or anger towards me when my reality has been. I, I hugged my sister while she took her last breath. I took her children in. I didn't give you less, I just had less. It was less, I can, I'm only one person. I can't give you what I don't have. I, 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 I'm so sorry about your sister. I know this was years ago. How old were you when you took your sister's kids in? Uh, 23. 23. And why didn't your mother take her, your, her grandchildren in, essentially? Because she was, I just felt like she was older. She had raised her kids. I didn't think my mama should have to do that. So you took on that responsibility. Yeah. My producer told me you lost a child a few years ago as well. I'm very sorry that happened. <laughs> like I felt my son cold. <laughs> and I'm traumatized. Yeah. I'm still reeling. Yeah. I never got over it. I'm never going to get over it. Of course. Of course. That makes sense. I see your body language switch. What's going on in your head? Because it's like every time I express my feelings, she just talks about all the things, and then I'll be feeling bad for feeling how I feel, because she did what she did to take care of us, and I understand that. But, like, all them times you was mean to me and stuff like that, and all them times where, I, where you asked me for money, I, not, I don't know where that money going to, but stop acting like I didn't help you. But I'm just saying, I like paying my bills. I like, helped don't be you. I did dramatic. help pay I bills. Gas you asked me for money. Seventy dollars for or hundreds of dollars all of my for. My children were in extracurricular activities. Hundreds for dollars all of for that gas. Stuff costs money. Her father didn't help me, so he didn't pay child support. Mm -hmm. You stop acting like you did that all by yourself. No, no, no. Though. I had, a, I had help. I had a father figure these help men, me. These relationships that I had, I was in. They supported and helped me, mm -hmm. but the pool of people He's that I can... He's still helping. He is, but the pool of people that I... When you have a child, people feel like a single mother, you don't deserve everything. You deserve less. Mm -hmm. you're, you're less because you didn't have... You, you're a parent now. Single mothers, it's tough out here. And so the men that, that were willing to accept me with five children... It's not the same man who was willing to deal I with me. I feel like they were men looking for help no themselves. Children. Your daughter said a lot of your relationships were toxic. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people prayed on me and used me. Mm -hmm. Got it. I didn't see the people for who they, maybe for who they really were. I looked past a lot of stuff because I didn't want to be alone. Yeah, you didn't want to be alone. I hear that. You're on crutches right now. Mm -hmm. Is, does this have anything to do with in one of your relationships? Okay, okay. Just asking. Um, but I'm, I'm but to... but when I'm disrespectful to them, okay, I get, I understand, I understand. I understand. And we've been arguing because she went on his social media and said all this stuff. We were trying to reconcile. We hadn't had no, mm -mm, ain't no reconcile. No, uh, you don't no, get to decide. No, when he threatened my siblings to shoot my siblings and stuff. <laughs> hell no, it's up forever. Okay. It's up forever. The dramatic truth has come pouring out. You can't hate her for the choices you. These are things that came out of your mind. Can this mother and daughter heal their relationship? When have you ever paid my bills, Anastasia? I've helped you with bills. You've come through. You were asking me for as money. As an adult. Not saying. You said at 16 you, you would have got a job to help me. Are you for real right now? You just... My producer told me you lost a child a few years ago as well. I'm very sorry that happened. <laughs> like I felt my son cold. I never got over it. I'm never going to get over it. Your daughter said a lot of your relationships were toxic. Would you agree with that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people prayed on me and used me. But when I'm disrespectful to them. 
Okay, I get, I understand. That. You don't no. get to decide. No, when he threatened my siblings to shoot my siblings and stuff, no. hell no. The reason that I started going down this line of questioning is because it's making so much clearer for me. It's making this so much clearer of this mother-daughter dynamic. Earlier, when she asked, there was a specific question of, do you feel as if your mother, that she's being selfish, do you feel like she didn't give you enough time? And you said yes. And at first I was thinking, is it because of the siblings? Is it because of all of that? But now I realize it's not about that. It came from these men and mm -hmm. the toxic relationships you've seen. Mm -hmm. and, and so it's caused you to have a pattern where it's like, Mom, you're not giving me the love. You're not acknowledging what I'm feeling because when you're going through this, I'm going through this as well. Am I hitting yeah. it more than now? Mm -hmm. And I understand why. You are a 15-year-old young woman who had to deal with so much. You've said something consistently. Life made me hard. The reality is life can't be soft. Real life can never be soft. These are things that came out of your mouth. And it's because since you were 15, you've always felt like life was hard. Mm -hmm. And when we feel like life is hard, we start to then pick things that are gonna make our lives harder. Mm -hmm. And in your case, it's the men you're choosing. Mm -hmm. You know that? Yeah. Okay, okay. Have you ever worked on that? I didn't realize it. Okay. So you're having a little bit of realization right now. And Instead now it makes more sense that the anger that she has towards you is that she's your mirror. So when she talks about these things with these men, it just reminds you of the choices you're making, which makes you feel embarrassed. Yeah, it's embarrassing. Got it. Okay. Got it. I understand. Yeah. Yeah. This all makes sense. You love your mom. Mm-hmm. You respect your mother. Yeah. Tell your mother that right now. I love and I respect you. I love you too. And there was not a but there. It was just I love and I respect you because I do believe that. But I do believe when she tries to start to help you and to show you that you can be better, that it makes you feel embarrassed and you're, instead of leaning into it, you fight against it. You fight against it, which then makes you say the comments where she feels like you're being mean, where you say the derogatory things, where she feels like she's not getting the love. So I know you love her, but what you have to do is you have to start to accept that when your daughter tells you about the things that anybody else will witness, you can't hate her for the choices you've made. She's been there right along the way. So when she's saying, like, acknowledge my feelings, she's trying to tell you that, Mom, every time you experience something, I experience it too. Yeah. She's been experiencing it with you. Every little thing you felt. Tell your mother, I felt it too. I felt that. I felt all that. Everything. But I need you know you don't have to be sorry. You don't have to be sorry because you don't have the tools. What she's asking is for, and through this whole thing of acknowledgement, is acknowledge that I'm here, that I've always been here. I will always love you. I will always do. And that's why it hurts her when you take away these little things. And even that little comment of like, I want a soft life, it wasn't a hit against you. It was saying, Mom, I'm trying to show you that I want to be better so that maybe you'll be better. But you took it as like, no, it ain't it. It ain't it. It ain't happening. And now I'm going to call you out your name. Now I'm going to disrespect you. And I'm not saying you did it on purpose. Because I'm not calling you a bad mother. I I've seen some bad mothers on this stage. <laughs> you, 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 you've had some hard lives that's caused you to say things. But clearly she's here. She loves you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I wouldn't even be here if I didn't care. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I would have been blocked <laughs> and gone about my business. You know you can't have an easy life. <laughs> yes, no, 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 no. Mama. You need to hear it because yeah, I'm an outside it. person and I've been in these situations. What, what gets me about your situation is it reminds me of my mother and I. I was the one that constantly telling her, Mom, you can have a better life. You can have an easier life. You, you don't have to put up with this. You don't have to put up with my father knocking you. You don't have to put up with any of these things. And I don't know exactly what's happening with the men that's been in your life. I'm just telling you from what I've experienced. And your daughter is doing that too. But you have to start to practice to believe you can have it. Like I said, you're attracting the hard life. You're going to continue to attract the men. You're going to continue to attract the situations that are going to make you feel like life has to be hard. Can you just say right now, I want an easy life? I want an easy life. And if you can practice saying, 
My life doesn't have to be hard. It will change your self-esteem and it will change the way you look at the world. And then the next time you have a man in your world that is going to do something to make you feel like, look, life has to be hard, you'll start saying, no, my life does not have to be hard. You don't get to do this because my life doesn't have to be hard. Hey, thank you so much. You're welcome. I appreciate y'all both for being vulnerable enough thank to come you. on the stage and talk. All right? I wish y'all the best of luck, too. All right, thank you for being with us. Make sure to come back next time, friends, so we can keep talking and we can keep going. I love you all.